Oh, check out my new key tip. I got a red key fob. No, it's just a cover. The key fob was like 10 bucks, but the, uh, if you wanted to get the car that comes with the key fob, that's an extra 50,000, so I didn't go that route. The one I saw my flag with, it'll pick up three or four pounds. It's got 13 and a, 13 and a half inch props on it. Oh, whoa. Yeah. So you built both of these? Yeah. From mm -hmm. scratch? Well, it, this was a frame kit that I bought. And then, uh, I, you know, I added the, I actually tried a jet engine in the center of it and it didn't work too good. So, but I can, <laughs> jet oh engine. Oh my gosh. Electric, electric jet, like that you saw on, on wow. the. Wow. Uh, turbo van, yeah. Yeah. So I made the base of it and then all that stuff there. This this one was this one was a frame kit too that I added stuff to it. Oh, they sell them as kits? Yeah. Uh, I'd love to build yeah, them. This right here now is is hobby key. Oh, okay. You can get this kit for the frame kit for I think around thirty forty bucks. Okay. Yeah. And, all the, and then you got to put all your motors, yeah, and yeah, controller, yeah, and battery. Hmm. They actually sell this on hobby king. You can get a kit with this. Uh, I've got a, I've got one that I made a, I made a, a full rated drone out of I, I eliminated these two here, and you have speed controllers that fit inside here and they have LEDs that light these up. Oh, cool! And you can get that kit with the speed controllers, I think for around forty bucks. Which oh, is, I'm gonna which check that out. Because yeah. I bought one that was all pre-built, you know, the Mavic Air, but now I'm I'm kind of like I like pro I like kits. Yeah, I like building. I, I, I it's like more building, fun. I, like building. Yeah. I, I make different accessories, different cameras, and yeah. Well, that's what I was going to ask you. What do you do this, for video? This, this is a really strong light, man. This looks pretty cool at night. Wow. Yeah. What do you do for video? Is it digital video or analog video? I use GoPro. Okay. Oh. Yeah, GoPro session. Okay. Yeah, but that doesn't transmit it, right? You're not. You're not getting live. Uh, actually, I've got the transmit the video transmit transmitter. So yeah, that's my, analog my, though. My big one's got one built onto it, but but, but like on, on any of these, I can add this. This is this is a, a camera transmitter built into it. Built For in the it. goggles. Yeah, <laughs> it, can, it can work either one. Yeah, this yeah. is another one. Builds a little bit stronger. Yeah. So yeah, I can add those too. So there's not a hobby store here. You have to do it all online, right? Yeah. Raleigh's got one. Raleigh's got a uh, hobby a hobby store. Uh, Okay. Raleigh Hobby Provo. Okay. Uh, near near Lowe's in Garner. They uh. That's the one that's gonna have the Mavic stuff, Air too, right? We're gonna have that, or not Mavic Air, probably. the Mavic Mini. The Mini, yeah, uh, I have it. Just seen. advertise it on Twitter. Uh -huh. How much is that? Four hundred. Oh, three hundred. Three ninety nine. Three ninety nine, and yeah. if you get the fly more, it's four ninety nine. Okay. But it folds up. See, the spark didn't fold up. Yeah. This one will fold up, so that's... It's going to be super light, too. Oh, okay, good. But you still have to license it, though, right? Because it's still too heavy. You technically should. Well, I think that they need to up that weight restriction a little bit. Yeah. You know, no, you don't I think they got it. You know what the last thing I used yeah, my, my drone for, believe it or not, was my mother-in-law thought she had a leak in her roof. Yeah, we're gonna look at and it. I just went back and forth, like only like, hovering only like two feet above it mm -hmm. and just been back and forth sideways, right? And I checked the whole roof and I, I, I was amazed on how clear the video yeah. was. I was like, oh, I could see this perfectly. That was didn't, which drone? Uh, Mavic Air. Oh, okay, yeah. yeah. I mean, and then the she minute. showed, I go, show me again with that spot. And she goes, it's right here. And I'm like, can you turn off that light again? I'm like, that's a shadow. That is a shadow. Well, even even with the mini, oh my God. I'm surprised that the quality, I mean, when you consider how skimped down that drone is. Yeah. And technically, it's what people would have thought would be a toy. Yeah. But DJ was like, hold my beer. Yeah, exactly. We're going to see what we can do with 250 grams. Bam, you know? So I, I'm a ham operator. I also use it to uh, use a fishing weight to drop the weight over mm -hmm. certain tree branches to get my dipoles up, oh, antennas up higher, nice. you know? Some guys use, you know, fishing rods yeah, yeah. or slingshots or whatever. Well, there was, a, there was a video of people that were doing it to get the fishing line out, like, yeah, 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 yeah. Just... What do they call that? Drone fishing yeah. or something? Got like, probably with like system Surf like what he has. Yeah. He got like a little thing. And... They can take it out a thousand yeah. feet or a thousand yards or whatever. Yeah, exactly. And just wheel it in. It's going to be crazy. So this guy doesn't zoom in, so. Yeah, kind of windy out here. Into it, so I got, oh. I have a camera on there. I can see that. Yeah. yeah or, or that. Or, 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 yeah, I've, I've, mine went into the water. 
I, oh. I mine went for a swim yeah. and um, I used that and it took me right to where the thing went into the water and I could see the lights flashing in the water I got it and then I had the DJI refresh so they just sent me a new drone yeah. Pretty quiet, huh? What kind of props you got on there? I can, I can hear the spark. Oh yeah, it's nice and quiet. Now the six prop one, is that quieter? Oh, here goes the parachute. Look at that. Uh, uh oh, we got wind. Don't hit the tree. Oh, oh. Quick, grab it. Go back and get it. <laughs> Retrieve. What is it? <laughs> oh, it's an alien. I can see an oak tree. Uh-oh. Oh, God. Keep blowing. Oh, we need a gust. Keep going. Wind. Keep going. Woo. I think he's going to make he, it. If he makes it over. Yeah. You good. good. You good. You yeah. good. Yep. You're <laughs> over by the cars. Cool. <laughs> What's that over there? This, is that a drone right? Oh, is that a bird? I guess that's a bird. Yeah. Oh, that was fine. <laughs> that's amazing. <laughs> that's cute. Wasn't counting on that wind. Yeah. Needed to go toward the tree line. And that is just amazing. What do you think the weight payload on that would be? I don't know if you can see that. Uh, Very good. I put a whole lot of <laughs> I've got some other ones, uh, other bomb babies. Do a half a pound, there. probably. Yeah. yeah. Then they get a little unstable. I tried to, I tried to deliver a magazine to my mother-in-law. She's two, two blocks away from me. <laughs> the Mavic Air. It was like it didn't want to do that. So he's got the, he got the little mount on there. I got one of these mounts before. It wasn't very secure, though. Oh, this one's worked like a charm. Yeah. And it works on, I've got two different controllers, and it works on both of them. Now, I saw one guy, what he does is he puts it on a on a tripod. He just puts the display on the tripod, and he just, because you're usually standing in one spot anyway. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just the sun makes it a little hard to see. Yeah, the camera on this, I was flying my, my Mavic. One Pro, and it, it it was a lot better camera than this one does. This is the Spark, but the Spark, boy, it'll it'll zippity do da. Oh yeah, yeah. Now you got the handheld remote for the Spark, yep. so it gives you a little bit more range, right? Uh, then what? Just not. They said that. that if you yeah, if you use just the phone, it doesn't have as much range yeah. as when you use the remote, right? No, no, I never tried it. Okay, I, I don't know. I know I've used mine, uh, my Maverick Air, just to <laughs> launch, and then I use the gestures and have it follow me around <laughs> yeah. without the remote. That was kind of cool. Do the whole Jedi land and stuff. <laughs> so does that have GPS in it, or is it all hands-on? Okay. What software do you use? Uh, what is it? Like NASA, NASA Assistant. Okay. They were all that's, that's old school. I mean, okay. Electrics like that. Yeah. God. Flashing lights mean something. Here we go. It sounds like it has a higher RPM. Yeah. Pretty quiet though. The blades are probably a lot. No, those carbon fiber blades, those are plastic blades, yeah, weren't they? Just cheap plastic. I mean, they're yeah. Cheap I wonder why my Mavic Air is so darn loud. loud. So if you like go hands off, how stable will it be? Will it hold like rock solid or does it drift a little? It all depends on the uh, similar sound character. How many lock? If it drifts a little bit, uh, and it, I've noticed that too, if they don't lie, once this thing warms up, 
Yeah. Something about the gyro, man, it has to warm up. When, it, when it's cold, it's, it's not that accurate. But see, that was pretty good right there. Oh, yeah. But you wouldn't want to hand catch that. Yeah, yeah, I would. <laughs> I, I, I got like this yeah, in my <laughs> oh, that's pretty stable. Corrects and everything. Goes right back to the same altitude. I take my bigger one and grab hold of landing gear and walk with it. Hold, 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 just walk with it. Let it go. <laughs> Can't do it without one. The landing gear will just fall off. So that's yeah, that's pretty quiet now. Do you have issues with birds chasing after? I've had some birds go after mine. I actually, I actually oh, yeah. had one stuck in a tree here one time when I was trying to retrieve it with a bigger one, and I had a hawk come up. And was, you know, he come by it to me, he was just, just hovering and looking at it. I got he, he, he flew off. Was that? a hawk. Uh, that's what it is, the hawk. He comes out here, I guess, most of the time. Today was too cold. But he told me that if you ever have a bird, Coming up to your drone, uh, he go straight up. Go straight up, he said, because they don't follow it. Up. Yeah. Yeah, they only go want to go down. It on the level, or uh -huh. if it's going down, but they won't go. At, they mm. won't chase it supposedly. Yeah, I went down, down because I figured I get more speed, and he kind of swooped down. But then after I went down, I went up, and then he turned and went away. Yeah. Well, that's what I did too, because again, they were the birds seemed to be staying at a certain height. So whenever and I went I above, yeah. go up. That's, that's an aggressive part. Oh. In other words, all of a sudden you're the prey yeah. instead of the bird <laughs> being the prey on your bird. Well, and I think sometimes they're just feeling like, hey, you're encroaching in my area. Yeah. Like, get out of the way. If you, you go, go up, yeah. you're, you're in private airspace. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, okay, I'll leave. <laughs> the birds are like, now, there's one right there, see? <laughs> What's your run time on that? It lasts about 15 minutes, man. Mm. I don't know what's going on with my battery. Mm. I mean, the temperature, does it play any role? Maybe it does. Because huh. I hear that a lot from people when they say when you're flying yeah. colder temperatures, they don't get the same. Yeah, I mean, I mean the battery's about it. Well, it is. It's getting out. It's Control it. Yeah. Well, this one has more man maneuverability just yeah. because of the number of. Yeah. Not only that, you wouldn't have to cover your props. You could have the yeah. plastic coming up and just to where once it's 10 feet, 15 yeah. feet in the air, it's a disc. Yeah. And yet the tops open for the props. Oh, really? Of I mean, course, then your downwash has to go I mean, somewhere. Could, I mean, how would you have to open in the center of it? I mean, I think it was still fly. You, you could have the screen in the center. center. Yeah. Yeah. The thrust is going to the black could have a black screen in the center yeah. for your downwash. Yeah. And, yeah. <laughs> no, I just, you know, I was thinking about it, like, because uh, I was trying to think back to, like, the things that I was doing yeah. as a kid. Where it was. It was all, it was all mm. gas. You could, remember, remember all your control lines when you go around the circle? Well, see, oh, I remember those. Say, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'd, yeah, I'd that was, set that thing that off. That was fun, yeah. I was turtle That was more my dad's. You'd try to dad's. find a big playground at the school, yeah. and then you, you know, my dad would crank that Cox engine up, mm -hmm. and we'd start, <laughs> oh, start. Yeah. Take it dizzy. Maybe, maybe get it up just a little bit, <laughs> and then, <laughs> oh, oh, no. Plant it in the mud. I love the smell of those things. Oh, yeah. <laughs> That smell what was that, that like ethanol or, yeah. or like and it was Kestrel. always Kestrel. yeah, yeah. And give it was give the shits after you but if you're <laughs> gonna get back. your finger out yeah. quick enough if they backfired yeah. oh, now God. they got the electric starter yeah I'm going to get the bracket because he's gonna take my GoPro up in his uh, I guess I could just take my drone up but I'm gonna put my take have him take my GoPro up and film with this thing so that should be pretty neat see you in a minute. The GoPro is mounted on the drone. <laughs> it's on, right? Yeah. We don't want to send it up without it being no, it's on. Oh, yeah, you're right. It's, it's, uh, but it was some supposedly covered up military that stopped it. All of a sudden, all your power and
EMP compliant. There you have it, guys. Hope you didn't get car sick. <laughs> and this is the drone you just took a ride on. He's going to put his GoPro on there now. But a lot of the drones that we fly, like these ones, uh, like this uh, Mavic Pro, they have a camera built in. So actually the GoPro was old, the old school method way of doing it, but it's still pretty neat. Anyway, so uh, catch you in a little bit. Guys, so um, that was pretty cool. Put the uh, GoPro up on the drone. I haven't even seen the footage yet, haven't gotten home yet. I haven't previewed it through the uh, GoPro. But uh, yeah, pretty good. You know, it started off real cold today. It's 52 degrees right now. It's a beautiful day here in Raleigh. Heading down the highway here on the belt line. And I got the data myself. I got no plans. <laughs> so we're just gonna go see what uh, what we find. We tried to go to the, I tried to go to the farmer's market today, get lunch, and it was just so crowded. They got a craft fair going on. Plus the influx of all the uh, people leaving uh, New York's high tax bracket area um, have all moved down here. So I couldn't even get in. No parking, uh, no chance for parking we're parking up on the grass and stuff like that so anyway um just um going for a little drive i think i'm gonna go i'm trying to find some place for lunch so um i really feel like barbecue i know it's probably not the best thing for my for my diet but it is the weekend you know so love to get some uh, some barbecue anyway see you in a little bit Let's see what i find guys appreciate you watching i uh, hope you liked the video it was pretty neat uh, started off cold today ended up warming up pretty nice uh <laughs> put my gopro right on top of that guy's drone that was uh that was pretty sweet i didn't even fly end up flying mine i just uh i just had fun chatting with everybody ended up going to the mall chatting with a guy um a couple djs there at the mall that were over at belks one guy played uh, professional ball for uh San Francisco so I can't remember his name I get his card though but uh, we were chatting for quite a while talking about cars and different things like that had a great time had a little Chinese for lunch and uh, I'll have to hit the gym tomorrow probably uh, Sue and I are heading out tonight um, so tell me what do you guys think of drones thumbs up if you like drones and um, if you have a drone please put in the comment below what kind of drone you have I'm curious Seems like a lot of people have DJI. Now, what was interesting about today's video is that this guy built that crap himself. And one of the things I didn't film, and I wish I did, was he's a CNC uh, programmer. And he did a lot of the parts on his own CNC, well, his company, CNC Machine. And a lot of that stuff was all, car you can see, carbon fiber, custom built parts. Oh my God. And then he gave me some tips on where I can uh, do that. I was thinking about doing a project, like, building something uh, should I build a drone should I build another uh, ham radio QRP ham radio uh, what would you like to see let me know put in the comments below like subscribe do appreciate it I'm, uh, oh, I'm so close so close to get my 1000 that I can get uh, my my live streaming you know we used to be able to live stream with lower you know with lower subscriber rate but they changed it because uh, my wife and I went on a cruise and I was able to do a live stream from the cruise ship so uh yeah and then after that i couldn't do it so anyway but i'm so close to 1000 so that'll help plus i get monetized oh, well that'll take a little while but anyway thanks for watching have a great day have a great weekend later bye